we're reaching very near the end of the road. Yeah, um, but we've got some new hope now. Um, there has been some new scientific evidence done, um, which puts this at a higher chance um, of working for Charlie than they previously thought. Because as it is at the moment, uh, the doctors at this hospital, this hospital, Great Ormond Street, that has done such amazing work for so many children over the years, but the, there was a unanimous decision of the, of the doctors here that nothing more could be done, and that led to the court effectively prohibiting you as parents from exercising your rights over your child in going to America. But are you saying there are now doctors giving a different opinion? Yeah, there's um, Great Ormond Street, we're, we're not saying it's a terrible hospital, they do amazing things in this hospital. We, we've seen miracles happen ourselves, you know. Um, but there are doctors who specifically deal in certain conditions, and Charlie's is a very rare condition. So it's mitochondrial depletion syndrome. There is only eight genes that we know of that cause mitochondrial depletion. Um, and there's specific doctors that specialise in them. So that's who we're listening to. Um, no, I understand that, but I mean, are we, as far as this hospital's concerned, I mean, are we quite close, realistically, to the life support machine being turned off? Yeah, we are quite close, um, but due to the new information, I'm, I'm hoping that they will reconsider the position now. Now, I understand that um, the Americans haven't just said that you could fly little Charlie across to America to have the treatment, but that actually they would bring the treatment here to London and administer it. Uh, has that led to any change in attitude from the authorities? Well, I've not actually spoken to Great Ormond Street since that statement went out from the American hospital, so I don't know what their position is at the moment. Um, but it was offered a few, you know, sort of in January, I think December, January, that they could send the medication over here and that they would oversee the treatment uh, from there and sort of guide it and work together. Um, Which would mean that Charlie would not need to go on a transatlantic flight. The uh, Donald Trump has looked at your case and said he wants to do anything he can to help. Uh, the Pope, Pope Francis, has said that you as parents should have the right to make the decisions about your children. And I have to say something that I feel very strongly about. Um, there's going to be a meeting today in Hamburg at the G20. Uh, Donald Trump is going to meet with Theresa May. Um, have you got a, something you want to say to the British Prime Minister? Yeah, um, I just really, really want you to support us and, you know, help to give Charlie this chance. Um, I did actually find your statement quite encouraging because you said, you know, if there's new information, you hope that Great Ormond Street would um, do what's in the best interest of Charlie. Um, so, you know, there is new information now um, that this has a better chance than previously thought. Um, so I just hope that this gives Charlie that chance. And, you know, I'm, I'm pleading with you as the, the Prime Minister of our country to, to help one of your citizens, um, to support us um, like others are supporting us. Well, I want to thank uh, the very brave parents uh, of young Charlie uh, for all they've done over the last few months and for everything that you've said to us here on LBC this morning. And really, Nick, the situation is um, that this little boy has one last chance. Uh, there is absolutely no guarantee uh, that this medicine will work, but it would be at least an attempt to help this boy. And, you know, uh, surely, surely the rights of the parents mm. should be paramount in this. You didn't frankly have the balls to put country before party.